or we'll just barely have a hint of it. This stuff is really good. There are some out there that are high quality, and they've been molecularly just distilled to remove the uh, mercury because most fish out there swimming in the ocean have mercury in them. So you want to be careful about how much fish you let your child eat. Remember the little toxic sponges? They don't excrete this stuff, right? So you have to avoid fish, but they need these omega-3 so bad for the functioning of their brain. And, and, um, and it helps with other things because cod liver oil has vitamin A in it that's a special form of vitamin A called the natural cis form. And it gets into places in the body that the regular retinol form does not. And one of the things, raise your hands if you ever had a kid notice that your child ever looked out of the corners of their eyes at things. You ever seen that? Quite a significant amount. That's a functional vitamin A deficiency. And when my child started on cod liver oil, he stopped doing that. And that has to do with a neurological dysfunction of the visual processing. And when they get that vitamin A and that cod liver oil, it, that corrects that problem. They're not seeing correctly and well. And that's important, isn't it? If our kids are going to do well in life and school, we need to make sure their visual processing is good. So that's why I love cod liver oil, because not only you're getting all those good fats, you're getting that, that great vitamin A that they need that they really can't get in regular vitamins. And then there's D. Well, I'm not, you know, vitamin D is deficient everywhere, even in California. But in Canada, it's in epidemic proportions. And so these kids need to have vitamin D. And the old RDA of 400 IUs a day is not cutting it. Even little kids should be getting at least 1,000, 2,000. And in the wintertime, they should, some of these kids need like three to five a day. And it's really important for them because it affects so many different systems of the body. And I have a slide on vitamin D. I'll talk about it later. And it's so it's got vitamin D in it. It's got the vitamin A. And it's got these really great omega-3s. And there's quite a lot of them in there. Littler kids, one teaspoon twice a day with food. Older kids, two teaspoons. I'd say like four up, two teaspoons a day, breakfast, dinner. OK, one, bright, one in the morning, one in the evening. Um, if um, you, if it's hard to get down, I mean, you add a little drop of stevia, get it in the health food store. It doesn't feed the yeast, and it makes it really sweet, and so it's easier for them to taste. Kind of masks the oiliness a little bit, but it's not one of the harder supplements to get down kids. If you try to do the capsules, and there are capsules, they're big, and they're hard to swallow, but the capsules don't have as much omega-3 in it. So you have to almost buy another fish oil to add more omega-3. So really, this is worth the money and the, to give this, because you're getting three supplements in one. And the capsules don't give enough omega-3s. These kids need anywhere from 1 to 2,000 milligrams of omega-3 a day. And I think the capsules only provide like 500 of them. It's not very much. OK? So that's, I love that vitamin superstar, a superstar supplement, cod liver oil. It's good for your kids. It's good for everyone. All right. What do you need to know about multivitamins? Maybe some of you have your kids on multivitamins. Well, you have to be careful with that with autism because what did I say? I had to have adequate amounts of vitamins and minerals. And regular, yummy, gummy, chewable, grape flavored typically don't have anywhere close, OK? There's also a lot of things in there that are not good for them. A lot of times aspartame is in there. Aspartame's in everything. And aspartame is poison for children with autism. It's not good for anybody, um, but it's really bad for our kids. And you want to avoid artificial f sweeteners, artificial flavors, artificial colors. Anything that is artificial colors with a number after it, you want to avoid. And those are bad for them. So you know what? We need to put good things in our kids' bodies and not bad things. So the other thing is that unless they're low in iron, we shouldn't be giving them iron automatically because some kids have an issue with iron. And, and, and copper almost, and most of these kids, are too high in copper. And when they're too high, it causes oxidative stress. So if we give even a little bit more in a multivitamin, you're pushing them over the brink in terms of, of, of harming them in a, in a low-level way. It's not like go to the hospital toxicity, but it's just causing more oxidative stress in their body. So we want to avoid copper. Most kids, copper are too high and needs to come down. And almost every multivitamin out there on the market has copper in it, except for ones that are designed for autism. So that's another thing to keep in mind. And then when you're given 
cod liver oil, you're given 2,500 IUs of vitamin A, and they need that. That's good. But if you're giving a multivitamin that also has 2,500 IUs of vitamin A, and not from beta carotene, because that's different. That's beta carotene, vitamin A can never be considered toxic. It can't cause toxicity. But the retinol, okay, that's the fat-soluble form of vitamin A. If you have that in, a, in another multi and you're giving cod liver oil, there's a potential you could be giving too much vitamin A. So you have to be careful of how, what, what you're, you have to read the labels. You have to know what you're doing. 